Welcome to another episode of NFT Alpha. It is your friend Taco here. Give us a follow on Twitter if you are not already. Let's jump right into the stories that I got for you guys today. And they're awesome. Earlier today, we brought together a small focus group of 40 voyagers in Los Angeles to delve into Other Side for a vibe check. And of course, this is from the official Other Side meta, where the swamp ends, Other Side begins. The official metaverse project for the Yuga Labs ecosystem. Let's check out this thread. All right, we started off by taking a look at some of the artwork that has been in development for other side over the past year let's check out the artwork this one's name is splinter you know we got the sky that's me falling we got the obsidian damn i look so i look so tiny compared to uh the obsidian and we got luster again that's me right there if you look really closely i'm waving all right, all right. Voyagers traveled to an unexplored land. Before we even go into it, look at this picture. This is so badass. I mean, I wish I got the invite. I'm, I'm a community member, so uh, invite me out to LA next time you're doing another one. I want that Yuga Labs sign in my room. And I want it to be on all the time, so it's just blinding light. But you know, I'm representing Yuga. So yeah, they set up, I think it was 40 computers. They had uh, 40 community members come out there and uh, they were testing out their game. The destination, the setter of other side, a sprawling team tier five island is like the the fortnite for the other side some more brief gameplay what does that say swamp yachts okay some more gameplay because they are also making legends of the mara many are playing with a 3d version of their board ape yacht club avatar this is the first test of the avatars ahead of the official release this is really exciting they're coming out with their official release they're not telling us when but it's got to be coming soon because they're getting gameplay uh testing done right now and one last thing a preview of legends of the mara our day has come to an end but other side has much more to explore and more voyagers to welcome that's a pretty dope picture very cool i'm sad i didn't get an invite but maybe next time or maybe i just have to wait for the game to come out but um also i'm gonna rebrand this channel to the yuga labs news channel because wag me son 10 k tf shop they partnered up with gucci man gucci my guy gucci vault exchange is live at 10 ktf dot shop for all gucci vault material nft holders turn the digital textile into a gucci physical starting now through august 25th visit the website for more details here's a little cool graphic with wag me son i think that's a world of women and that's probably a cryptoed if i were to guess let's go to their uh, website so here are the two pieces of gucci merchandise that you can redeem for your 10k tf material let's see if i can show you guys that okay so you see this gucci vault material right here 446 dollars. so what you can do is you can redeem this for the wallet right here and then you can exchange three of the gucci vault materials for this um large duffel bag so if you had those materials or i mean you can still go to the open and see page 10 ktf stock room you can still get it until the august 25th if you if you want it and honestly this looks like a top of the line gucci duffel bag so this is like a, a luxury brand working with a nft brand great world we live in i mean i can't wait to see what happens in the future with all these legacy brands like nike adidas dulce and gabbana louis vuitton gucci any of those any of those brands they're bridging the gap between physical digital digital physical all right let's move on let's move on this is just another example example of sometimes when you own nfts other projects like to do giveaways if you own that specific nft so i came across a tweet yesterday a retweet from planet x so there's this guy uh he's followed by about six people i follow it passed the vibe check thank you to my board ape yacht club mune ape yacht club i was able to mint an x key by play planet x for free the current floor price is 0.12 i'll test my luck tomorrow to see if it fits the loot box and you can win a mune ape if not i'll keep it and try out the next prize so I actually uh, didn't know that this even existed. So I went to their X page. All right, the future of competitive mobile gaming and it's in the beta version. Their pinned tweet is a super thread on everything you need to know about Planet X. I will skim through it briefly, but I'll leave it in the description for you. All right, so first they go into the gaming space. There's more than 2.5 billion video gamers around the world. 70% of them are age 18 and older. 60% of Americans play video games daily and uh, their focus is going to be on mobile. They're introducing Planet X. It's the world's first live treasure hunt where players compete for real world prizes daily a global competition playable by anybody anywhere it is free to play and will be available on the ios and android app stores what's the gameplay look like looks like that to be honest i am not a mobile gamer but the gaming industry is gigantic mobile games take up a chunk of that industry so more power to them. graphics the graphics say hey, they look pretty legit to me how does the game work hunt starts at a specific time each day there will be a certain amount of hidden treasure chests to find when a player 
finds one, they will win what's inside. When all chests are found, the hunt is over. Uh, more gameplay experience, winning in the hunt. There's going to be upgrades, hidden chests, rare, common, probably uncommon, legendary, mythic, water X tokens. So they're going to have a token ecosystem. So this is a pretty big threat. I will leave it in the description. It's going to take me probably like 50 minutes to go over it. So the reason I brought it up is because this guy got a free key. So I, I was I want a free key. I got a mutant ape. I went to their website. All right, join the hunt and compete for real world prizes. I just went over that. Hey, this person won an iPhone 14 Pro. So the prize tonight is going to be, like I said, a mutant ape. So I can use that key that they're going to airdrop me and uh, see if I can open it up and win a uh, mutant ape. It'll be raining money because those things are like over 10 grand. Yeah, check out um, Play Planet X. Maybe you can win something in the future. Last but not least, Reddit launches more Polygon NFTs. As we're already minting 18 million avatars. But this time, they're actually teaming up with an NFT collection, Cool Cats. Because their community there over on Reddit, they don't like the word NFT. They like the word digital collectible. All right, let's get into it. Online discussion platform Reddit has quickly become one of the biggest brands tied to NFTs with more than 18 million of its Polygon-based collectible avatars minted over the last year. And now it has dropped another huge set of options. Reddit's collectible avatars generation four drop titled Retro Reimagined two days ago, pulling together an array of artists' riffs on the site's iconic snow alien mascot from dozens of creators. In addition to artists who were featured in previous drops and others from the Reddit community, the drop includes NFTs based on the cool cast profile pictures, as well as artist Micah Johnson's Aku NFT character. All of the NFT avatars launched in this collection are limited edition, with hundreds or in some cases thousands of editions available for each tokenized avatar. The prices range from $2.49 to just under $200 a piece. And many of the avatars are already sold out as of this writing. Reddit's first launched collectible avatars last summer via Polygon, which is an Ethereum scaling solution. So far, I mean, they've said this three times already, 18.2 million NFTs have been minted on Polygon for the Reddit avatars. Per public blockchain data curated by Dune, this is new. There's 14.25 million unique wallet holders for these avatars. When it comes to an NFT collection, 14.25 million unique wallet holders probably blows the, blows the, blows something. I don't know what it blows. It's a lot of unique wallet holders. You get the picture. Some $33.6 million worth of avatars have been traded on the secondary markets. Although resale demand was largely limited to a brief window of hype last fall when the Reddit NFTs were first taking off, top Reddit avatars were selling for 10 plus ETH in October. Now they're down about 90% where top sales were versus now. So the hands, which is this guy right here, sold for 15 ETH. Midas touch. Trust the Midas touch. Trust the Midas touch. Went from 12 ETH down to one. Diamond Diablo went from five to 0.5. Fishy Fostling went from seven to 0.4. Not too good. Good entry point. If you're into the highest valued NFTs in this Reddit avatar ecosystem, then uh, you have a good entry point to get at those. But on the outside looking in, they're down 90%. So, but I mean, what can you say? When you give out NFTs for free, a lot of people dump them for free money. Can't blame them for taking free money that they just get handed to them. So let me know in the comments what you think about the, the Reddit avatars. Are you going to uh, join the almost 15 million other people that own one? Not me, because I don't, I don't go on Reddit. I don't really like it. Don't really care too much for it. But 14 million unique holders is not something to joke about, even though I like to joke. All right. Give us a follow at NFT Alpha Show. That's all I got. Have a good weekend. Talk about.